PBA's women's soccer team is back on the field on Tuesday afternoon against Florida Memorial. The Sailfish looking to get back on the winning track against the Lions. Coach Krager's game plan was simple. Apply the pressure and apply it often. Haley Johnson steals the ball away. She takes a pretty good rip from outside the 18, but a nice save by the Flomo goalie. Puts it away. That wouldn't last long as Casey Wire gets the Sailfish on the board first with her second goal of the season on the assist from Haley Johnson. Wire wasn't finished yet. After picking up one assist on a corner, she gets another here as Kirsten Harrington puts one of her first goals of the night in the back of the net. PBA took a 3-0 halftime lead. Just 10 minutes into the second half, Haley Johnson scored on a Laura Geisler feed, putting Palm Beach Atlantic up 4-0. The final nail in the coffin came in the 77th minute as Kirsten Harrington's blast finds the upper right and gives PBA what the final score would end up being, a 5-0 lead over Flomo. With Harrington's two goals on the afternoon, she puts herself in the top spot in goals scored on the team for the season. Casey Wire had a goal and two assists, upping her season total to eight points. She's now got two goals and four assists on the year. Casey Wire, after a pretty good performance, a couple assists and a goal. And Casey, what was uh, your mentality today coming into this match? I think, well, we've had a couple rough games and it was just, just good to come up and we wanted to score some goals and get a win in. And I think that's just what we went out and came to do and it feels good. Tyler, we, uh, we had a tough match last weekend up in uh, Tampa, and so we wanted to uh, redeem ourselves. We know we played a great game there. Um, you know, unfortunately, score didn't uh, reflect uh, the effort that we gave on the field. So, you know, we had a, we had a week off, um, you know, with uh, the end of September, and then we came back just looking to, to get our legs back in the game, and this was a good start for us. So, you know, we wanted to do it from the opening whistle, and, and you know, we saw that, unfortunately, missing in the first minute there, uh, missing that goal, which would have been a great start to what we talked about. So we're happy with, uh, with the result. Uh, the important thing is that we continue to prepare uh, for Saturday, you know, and, and like I said, we kind of split our season into two, so this is kind of like our second season here. So we're going to, in October, roll around with one, and now start peaking mid-October again. PBA returns to action on Saturday at 2 o'clock against Southeastern University.